Hi, I'm Peter Jonas, MuseScore Community Ambassador. Let's check out a new accessibility feature coming soon to MuseScore 4, a live Braille view. Thanks to support from the DAISY Consortium and SoundMy Center for the Blind, you will have the option to view Braille within MuseScore via a new panel below the score. For sighted users, the Braille will show up in the panel as actual Braille dots, no special fonts required. For blind users with Braille terminals, the Braille dots will appear on your refreshable Braille display. I'm here at the RNIB offices in London with James Bowden, RNIB's Braille technical officer, who's kindly agreed to demonstrate the feature for us. So, James? Hi, Peter. It's great to be here and great to have you with us. So, we have on the screen a string quartet, and I can use the computer keyboard and MuseScore in the normal way with the screen reader, and I've also got a Braille display which will show me some Braille music when we ask it to. Let's hear first what the speech says as I cursor through this score. So I'm pressing cursor right. Note of five crotchet. Bar one beat one staccato above staccato above tempo allegro assai dynamic peak. The speech you heard was from the screen reader. Now the Braille display is also showing the words that the screen reader spoke. Note A5, crotchet, bar one, beat one, staccato above, tempo, allegro assai, dynamic P. Now as I cursor through, each note will be described individually like that. So let's cursor one more. Note G5, crotchet, bar two, beat one, staccato above, staccato above. Again, quite a lot of information to take in. So G5, crotchet, bar two, beat one, etc., etc. So what we're looking at here is the accessibility which has been in MuseScore for the past few years. It's great, but you're reading one note at a time. So there's a lot of information to take in about each note. And if I want to learn a whole piece, there's quite a lot to read through. If I press tab, I'll get to this Braille window. Live Braille, normal mode edit. And on the Braille display, it now shows Live Braille, normal mode edit, that's what the screen reader just said. But afterwards, I've got, in Braille music notation, a whole bar. Staccato, fifth octave, G, crotchet, staccato, F crotchet, staccato, E crotchet, staccato, D crotchet. And all of that information is in that little space between my fingers. Wow, so a lot more compact. A lot more compact, and I'm reading the whole bar at a time, rather than one note at a time. So far, we've been looking at a piece of music that's already been written. What's really cool, not only can I read Braille music on the Braille display, I can also write music into MuseScore in Braille music notation, and it will appear on the screen as print music. Now, I do that using six keys on the laptop keyboard, S, D, F, J, K, L, in different combinations representing the six Braille dots. And let's see how it works. So let's go into note input mode by pressing N. And I'm going to D minim. I'm going to press dots 1, 3, 5, or S, F, and K. F. And a C quaver. F. And a B quaver. J, D. So it's the letters S, D, F, and J, K, L. These six keys basically represent the six Braille dots that you can have in a braille cell and you press them all together in the combination that you need. So how important do you think these features are? I think it's really exciting that MuseScore has taken on this challenge of adding braille support to increase the accessibility and to be able to use a free program and write a piece of music which could be printed out and given to somebody else to play. Now with these braille features as well we're entering really exciting times. How is this helpful for a, a blind person and a sighted person to work together? I guess you can see each other's language. There's a lot of music teachers out there who, who can see, and they might have a, a student who can't. The teacher can't necessarily read Braille themselves, but it's useful to refer to what the student is actually reading. It might even be vice versa, by the way. You could have a blind music teacher who has a sighted student. So it's useful to be able to see what each other see. OK, James, thanks very much for giving us this quick tour of the new Braille features coming soon to MuseScore 4. And thank you, Peter. It's good to see you again. And thank you to MuseScore for your continuing commitment to accessibility. 
You're welcome. Uh, of course, we weren't the only people involved in this project, so let's hear quickly from our friends at DAISY and Sao Mai. I'm Sarah Morley Wilkins, the project manager of the DAISY Music Braille project, and we at the DAISY Consortium are really excited about the benefits that live Braille input and output in Music School will bring to blind and sighted musicians working together in education, in amateur and in professional environments. I am Dan Guai Phuc, Executive Director of Samai Center for the Blind, a non-profit organization based in Vietnam. It's been a pleasure to work with Musica and DAISY to bring music braille software to musicians around the world. So thank you to our friend DAISY and Sao Mai. And if you're interested in music braille, you might want to check out the Music XML to Braille conversion tool that Sao Mai have recently released on their website. That was also supported by DAISY and we improved the music XML output in MuseScore specifically to help it work with such conversion software. So that's something worth checking out and stay tuned for further details about accessibility in MuseScore. Thanks very much for watching.